Hey guys, this is Max Titan, and welcome back to our Let's Play Don't Starve series. This is episode three we are on, and day is just breaking uh, for day eight, which is awesome. Now you guys will probably remember we are down here, um, all the way down here, instead of um, all the way up by our main sort of base or camp, and that is because there are some buffaloes located around here, which we are trying to. Uh, sort of what, harvest for their <laughs> crap, uh, basically. So we're just going to go ahead and carry on that, because you guys know the drill. We love crap in this game. Oh my god, this sounds so weird to say, but what the hell? Um, it's true, guys. If you are a uh, person trying to survive on their own in the middle of a sort of forest with no human contact, poop is the best thing for you. Now, you guys will obviously remember from our last episode, we did sort of take a beating. Uh, from, I believe it was a tall bird, whose egg we actually have here. Now, I'm not entirely sure what to do with uh, an egg. Let's just drop it here and see, does it do anything? No, it just says it's okay. Okay, so I think we have to sort of leave it out during the day, uh, but then at sort of night time, it gets really, really cold, uh, so you have to put it by a fire, and that's when it starts to warm up. And I think you just sort of keep doing that um, over and over and over again, eventually it will sort of hatch. I think that's the way it works. Anyway, I'm not entirely sure, and to be honest, I don't really want to look it up, because I don't really want to spoil the surprise. I do know that you can't hatch the eggs. I do know that much, but I'm not entirely sure how you do it. But there you go. I'm sure we will have a blast trying to find out. You know, we'll probably end up uh, ruining it anyway. Mm, what's it doing? Can we, like, inspect it? Uh, do you insp no, apparently we can only eat it. We do not want to do that. Now, also, another thing down here, I mean, just while we're here, we could also head back the way we sort of came, because there is this pond here, and we could just grab some fish. Also, there's some sort of blank spots on our map, which I'd like to sort of uh, uh, get rid of. Man, we are getting a ton of seeds, folks, around here. We now have 22 seeds, guys. Can you believe it? 22 full seeds. I think that is pretty damn good, in my opinion. Uh, man, and we've also got a ton of tufts. We now have six tufts, enough to last us six nights, uh, which is pretty cool. Look, our fire is even going uh, a quarter way through our day, uh, which is awesome. Shows how good grass tufts are uh, for you. Oh, we're heading kind of the wrong way, to be honest. Uh, we're sort of missing it all. Now, um, we did bring this spear along, because I was thinking of attacking the beast, but remember we sort of got attacked by the tall bird plus the spider which I sort of mistook for something else I didn't even know what it was I thought it was just some like random new creature but apparently not uh, and we got hurt by it our health however has sort of recovered but not enough yet to allow us to uh, be able to attack these things because they do um, they do sort of like uh, strike uh, oh wait is this thing gonna where is this thing going I want to kill it to get its uh, butterfly wings but anyway um the bees, if you attack their sort of nest, they do uh, fight back and it can get awfully hairy uh, and it's not the best. Now I think we have to wait for the sort of butterflies to go to a flower, uh, I think, uh, if that's the way it works. Are you going to go? Yes, you are. Let's go for the eyes. There we go. Okay, we have um, butterfly wings here, which we can now eat, and which, wow, heal, heal us up quite a lot. I'm going to try and chase this uh, butterfly towards the flower if it wants to go there. No, apparently not. We may just sort of be wasting our time trying to chase this random uh, butterfly around. Um, this random butterfly towards different sort of flowers. Actually, I think it's going towards the flower now. Yes, it is. Perfect. Oh no, apparently it's going to hide in the flower. But we can... Oh no, damn it. It dodged. It dodged. God damn. It's a slippery, uh, slippery one. Um, oh well. As you guys <laughs> probably saw there, and I didn't really talk uh, about it, we got a ton of berries. Man, this has been a pretty profitable sort of expedition because obviously when we started out this game, this was sort of the area we started in, and so we harvested all these berries, but now they've grown back, so we can just uh, harvest them once again. And we are running quite low on twigs, so I think we'll just grab a few of these. And I think we're sort of nearing... Um, nearing the pond which is really really good uh, because then we'll be able to get ourselves some nice yummy fish which we can then cook up uh, later on and, and that'll be really really nice I could do with some uh, actually can you cook sushi actually no you can't cook sushi what I'm talking about sushi is like raw but I mean can you create some sort of like proper like fish dishes because last time we did it we ended up with these meatballs which we will eat soon enough because we don't want to uh, spoil them We'll spoil it before we get a chance to eat it, and I think we are basically here. Yeah, here we go. We can go ahead and fish, and I don't think there are any monsters around, so we should be uh, okay. We shouldn't be disturbed. We can just uh, focus on grabbing these 
disgusting looking fish. Oh my god, that's creepy looking. Uh, we'll keep these uh, sort of fish for as long as possible and we'll take them back to our main base camp, not the one we're sort of at right now, not the uh, temporary one. We'll take them back to our main base camp to uh, then cook up, man, I didn't mean to uh, reel it in uh, just yet, but there you go. Now, ours is at 56% right now. I want to see how much uh, sort of durability it takes down to sort of fish one fish. Okay, so we have another fish, and it went down to 44. So that's 12, if my math serves me correctly. Um, if not, oh well. <laughs> so uh, that's 12 durability each time. Oh, so that's not the best. Uh, we should be able to get round about four fish, maybe three. Um, there we go. Uh, I think that should be pretty good, so then total we'll have like uh, around about six or seven fish to be honest. Man, is there like no chance of you not getting fish in this game? I don't think so. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Okay, that one took us down 11 durability. Um, so I think my may just be sort of random or maybe sort of how long you like stood there uh, fishing. Once again, I don't really know about this um, sort of thing. I haven't looked any of this up, uh, stuff up. All I know about this game, I sort of just know from either gameplay that I've seen or uh, indeed just my own experiences within the game. Like the sort of the tree ends which come alive during the evening. I've only ever seen that in gameplay, uh, in sort of a patch, uh, like gameplay thing. Oh no, seeds. Oh no, we're not going to make that in time. There's no point. We might as well just carry on fishing. Uh, but anyway, I saw that in sort of a gameplay for a patch. Oh no. no, oh, they've left the seeds. Might as well go and grab them. But anyway, I saw it in the gameplay uh, and that's the only reason I really know about it. Um, Everything else I've just learned sort of myself along the way uh, from playing from my previous Wilson character uh, with whom I got to something like level 13, level 13, uh, day 13. Oh crap, and we are almost night time and I don't think this uh, thing is going to give us any more fish. We are quite a way away from our uh, base, but we have this torch here so we will definitely equip that if it gets to night like it is right now. Um, we'll come back for the berries uh, tomorrow possibly or we may just uh, head back to our main camp. Man, things are getting dark. I can't even see what I'm doing right now. There's a whole sort of options to light random things in the darkness. Um, I'm afraid we'll still have to use the map here to sort of try and find our way back because it is ridiculously dark uh, right now and our torch's durability is going down quite rapidly. I think we just go left now and we will be there. But I think there's no real point uh, chucking in a tuft at the moment. Uh, we could probably just chuck in a, a piece of grass. I think it would be for the best. Or perhaps uh, two pieces of grass. There we go, that should last us uh, the few more seconds that the night will last. Man, nights are getting quite short at the moment, and we are getting quite hungry. So I think we'll go ahead and eat these uh, meatballs. Yum, there we go, that restored our health a lot, restored our sanity, I think, if I was right. And our hunger levels have gone up by a mile. And the really cool thing is we now have five fish. Uh, and, oh my god, oh god, oh my god, look at that we have an impressive impressive beard just like a true wanderer uh, we now have an awesome awesome beard uh, to go with all the poop that we've been collecting uh, you know to complete this whole traveler sort of image now all we need is just like a tent yeah we need a tent I think you can actually make tents in this game to be honest and we don't want to anger any of these uh, buffalo but I don't think they'll attack us at the moment I don't think it's red ass season and um, when I say red ass I mean because uh, I may have mentioned in my uh, other episodes that if a sort of um, if a buffalo is about to get angry with you, uh, it comes up with sort of a bright red butt. Uh, so it's sort of like a warning uh, for you not to get too close because it will chase you and attack you and possibly kill you, uh, which is really nice. Which is always always nice. Now can we kill this? No, apparently not. Apparently it just wants to sort of run away. No, it just keeps wanting to run. Oh well, we'll just uh, ignore it. And actually, right now I think we hmm we have two options here. We could either explore sort of to the left, um, or that's west basically. We could either explore that way and just see what's around here, or we could head back to base, which isn't too far up. I think we'll do a little bit of exploring because we have plenty of day uh, daylight because we are now in day nine, which uh, is awesome. I'm surprised we've got this far without uh, too many mistakes. Well, when I said too many mistakes, we have... Oh, God, have I got the egg? Oh, thank God, I thought I'd left the egg back. Uh, but we have got attacked by a tall bird, um, which was not the best. But this place is pretty cool. It's like a normal sandy biome. How's our sanity doing? Yeah, we could do with just picking these up. And obviously we can eat these, uh, because that would give us um, some health. Now, can we kill this thing? No, apparently not. 
apparently uh, we oh damn it I really want to attack this thing it's so tempting um, but we really shouldn't oh we should we should we should <laughs> oh god no no we shouldn't that was a really bad idea run run because just to get our health we do not have enough health to uh, face these guys uh, properly there's no points anyway it's not like they'll give us anything good oh damn it this thing just dodged oh man there's another one up there is this no oh this is actually quite near our base and it looks quite big as well we need to take that out we do not oh no it's not near our base thank god <laughs> man I do not have a very good sort of sense of perspective um, when it comes to sort of uh, land uh, and areas but there you go Oh, these rabbits actually remind me our sort of next priority once we got back and once we've uh, created these uh, improved farms um, we actually need to create some traps so we can get some proper meat because we can't be relying on our sort of fishing. Right now we have plenty of fish which by the look of it sort of durability is going down quite quickly as fish would. Um, so I think we need to uh, actually head back now to be honest. But yeah, um, once we've done that we need to actually uh, get some traps because traps are going to be very very important for us. Okay, well we are now sort of almost sort of almost half uh, halfway. Uh, a third of the way through day nine and we're not doing too badly on hunger we're still sort of halfway um, shall we pick up these yeah we'll pick up these uh, berries because then we can make some more fistful of jam which is going to be lovely now I think once we've got these two bushes here we will actually have enough oh no not you oh apparently they're not attacking us today or are they or are they no don't attack us god no no did you really just oh god did he actually sort of like aggro on us just because we went to oh no not that as well bloody hell get away I'm not I, I'm not doing anything to you okay good he stopped attacking us and we can now grab this uh, sort of gold mine elephant stone god those things are annoying they always interrupt me whenever I'm talking it's, it's ridiculous but we get some nice seeds uh, some rocks because we actually need more rocks for our sort of farms I think it's like four rocks per improved farm I think that's the way it is uh, but anyway we get some uh, more gold which obviously is very important uh, and actually think about it what sort of other things can we create uh, for science a rainometer um, a windometer or a lightning rod now a lightning rod actually sounds pretty good uh, because I believe lightning does become sort of quite a big threat later on in the game if I'm right about that anyway oh crap I just realized how much manure we have man we are just rolling around in like buffalo shit this is amazing okay cool and all our crops are fully grown man everything is happening at the same time these saplings have regrown so we can quickly pick all of them get uh, a nice sort of bunch of twigs okay we're all set now this is awesome and we can go ahead and actually uh, create two more I'd say yeah two two more improved farms I think that's uh, a good number uh, to be honest where can we put it we can put it right there and we can plant up our sort of new seed perfect there we go and we can obviously harvest these crops uh, let's do it now we'll harvest up these crops and see what we can make by chucking uh, all these different things together I don't know what it will make um, actually I think I will because we are getting quite hungry at the moment I think I'll eat one corn there we go and we can just leave um, these sort of berries oh wow oh god we've left these in here I don't know. Oh, we left them t for meat. Okay, so we can create some uh, meatballs with our fish. Man, we've got too much food at the moment. <laughs> this is crazy. This is what must be the first time in our Let's Play sort of series, um, or I, indeed my time in Let's Play, when I have too much food, uh, or more food than I actually need. But anyway, uh, what can we actually create with sciences? There's a lot. There's like divining rods. I have no idea what that is. Can we actually create anything? No, we can't. Uh, what about the alchemy engine? Does that allow us to do anything? Is there a place where we can stand in between the two, like alchemy engines and science engine? No, apparently not. So it's either one of the two. Uh, Gunpowder. Ooh, that sounds pretty weird. I'm not sure what to do with that. We need a rotten egg, uh, nitra, and something else. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but there you go. Man, there's a ton of stuff we can make, and I'm not even sure what half of it is. Oh, of course, the top hat again. I'm just just flicking through this, checking what's available for us, because it looks like we can uh, prototype some new stuff, like a trap. Man, I, I can't believe we've never made a trap before. Um, how many should we make? Oh, we've only actually got enough grass for once. Uh, so, oh, and we can't carry any more uh, stuff, so let us drop these on the ground. Man, this is not the best. Let's drop these on the ground. We now have these meatballs which we can eat. There we go, lovely, topped ourselves all the way up. We can pick up these berries and then make ourselves some fistfuls of jam, uh, which is going to be awesome. Now, uh, I just need more um, 
more grass and now we can actually create another trap but let's go lay sort of this one out I guess here by this rabbit hole yeah I think that's a good one I can lay one here as well this isn't the best place though because it doesn't seem like uh, oh no come on make it it doesn't seem like there's that many rabbits around uh, but there you go we can just put these here and hopefully they'll uh, catch something in the end now do all of these have uh, oh no they don't okay I was just about to say do all of these farms have stuff uh, sort of planted in them but apparently not apparently uh, oh yeah of course because we harvested all the new ones oh god and it's going uh, into uh, where is my torch? Where's my torch? Where's my torch? Where's my torch? Where's my torch? Ah, perfect. God, that was uh, scary. I didn't even realise it was turning into night time. Man, time flies in this game. It really, really does. But anyway, um, just going back to planting up all these different crops. Uh, there. Perfect. I think it's pretty good. And we get another handful of jam, or rather a fistful of jam to cook. Uh, cook up the rest of these. And then, actually, think about it, once we've done that, we can obviously create another fistful of jam, but we can also make some meatballs uh, with the, sort of these carrots around, and there is a berry over there, right there, uh, in the dark. We can make uh, these sort of, uh, some more meatballs with all the berries, the carrots, the corn, and the fish that's lying around, and hopefully those traps will um, catch us some nice, tasty rabbits. Now, what can we, apparently we can prototype something. Oh, we can prototype a shovel, but right now, uh, we have one, so I think we're okay for that. Can we probably have anything else? Uh, a pitchfork uh, to move the ground around. I'm not sure what you do with that. Or a razor. Now that actually might be pretty useful for us. Um, because obviously uh, we now have a beard. And so we should actually probably start shaving ourselves. Uh, God, everything is sort of getting crowded in our inventory. I think we will need to create a chest. Okay, so we need three... Boards. Okay, uh, apparently we have no sort of wooden planks, so that is going to be our mission today, guys. We are going to, first off, hopefully cook us some meatballs. Um, but, I would like to go off and collect some more, uh, some more tree uh, logs, so we can actually create a chest. Oh, and here we go, look! The monster meat that we left here has rotted to give us uh, four pieces of rot, which I believe can be used to fertilize. So we'll definitely use that in our sort of uh, normal farms, not the improved ones. I think our improved ones are fine, uh, but for our normal ones. Man, everything is actually going really, really well. I'm really happy about how everything's sort of turning out right now. Everything seems okay. We've got plenty of uh, seeds. You know, I say this, but then probably in like an episode's time, we'll be like, uh, we'll have sort of run out of food and everything, and everything will be going uh, downhill. Uh, but hopefully not uh, any time soon. Now, obviously, I will chop my beard first, but I'd like to make a chest first uh, because um, otherwise, uh, I'd have I'd have no place to sort of store the shavings. Where is my shovel? I just put it down. Yeah, I did. There we go. Perfect. How many do we have now? Uh, we have seven logs. I think I can't remember how we, how many we need. I think we need something like a no, not eight. Uh, twelve. I think we need twelve. And we've already left this sort of metal potato thing. <laughs> That's a good name for it. A uh, potato, a uh, potato, a potato metal thing. We've just like left it here because I have no idea what to do with it. And to be honest, it was sort of just taking up inventory space. But um, yeah, perhaps let's put it in one of our chests uh, once we have actually made them. I think that would be a good idea. And our sort of shovel is slowly running out. So soon we'll have to create a new one. And I think we have enough. Um, sort of logs uh, for now, but we will quickly carry this uh, sort of metal potato thing back to an... Oh my god, what is that? We'll, we'll just drop this down here, but what the hell is this? Well, we have no space for it right now, so let's go ahead and sort of uh, refine three boards. Oh, we... Okay, look, let's combine... Uh, okay, we have no space for it, apparently. Uh, what can we just drop quick? We can drop this razor on the ground. Man, <laughs> okay. Everything was going good until our inventory got involved. And for some reason, we just picked up this. Let's just throw it on the fire. Oh, shit. That was good. Um, okay, we have three boards now, and we can finally make ourselves a chest, which we will place um, over here, and in which we can sort of put everything we don't need, such as this. Oh no, rain's coming, that is not a good sign for us. We don't need these pine cones, well done, we don't need this silk uh, yet. And it sounds like there's lightning on the way. It's not the best for us. <laughs> what else can we drop? We can, we can actually uh, use this to uh, fertilize our crops. Although it's not very good by the look of it. 
uh, no, come on, open the chest. Uh, gold we can put in here, we don't need to carry that around with us. Uh, we can combine this stack. I think that's pretty good for inventory space, but uh, let's use this actually. There we go, we've shaved and we now have uh, three beard uh, sort of hair, which will actually go towards our beat eff meat effigy once we have created it. But more importantly, um, come on, pick up the seeds. Uh, more importantly, what is this? This is awesome looking. Um, fish tacos, awesome. I was wondering if you could actually make a fish related dish and apparently you can. So we're going to go ahead and eat this because we're getting kind of hungry and I want to see how good it is. Man, that, that is not half bad to be honest if you ask me. Uh, and our food has also grown down here. Uh, let's quickly throw, what happens if we throw all this stuff in plus a twig? Now our sort of history with twigs are not the best. They've always just made like um, mush. But uh, hopefully it won't be too bad. Oh, and look at that. Uh, one of our rabbit holes has... Holy shit! Okay. Whew. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Man, that was, uh, that was actually scary. I wasn't even expecting that. That was crazy. Just a lightning strike. I said lightning was on the way, but I didn't expect it to be that quick. And, man, did it, like, burn anything? No, everything seems fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, not bad, then. That was actually pretty good. Uh, I think uh, next time we actually probably need to create a lightning rod just to ward away all those sort of uh, nasty things. Oh, what the hell is this? Harvest crock pot, and it is fish sticks. Okay, um, I'm just going to throw in this sort of dragon fruit, uh, two of these crops, and... Wait, where was that rabbit that we got? Ah, oh, here we go. Oh shit, not again, bloody hell. Uh, this is kind of getting freaky now. Uh, and kind of ridiculous. Okay, we'll leave that out. We'll leave that to sort of cook, and hopefully it will make meatballs for us. But we have a uh, some more corn uh, in our normal farm, and everything else is just sort of growing away. Yeah, I think it was just because we put fertilizer in there and sort of sped it up. Oh god! And our trap has already caught another person. Oh wait, no, not person, a rabbit. Uh, it's our other trap actually. But there we go. We can murder this. And yes, there we go. We have a morsel and some corn and some fistful of jam, fish sticks. Man, we are set on food. We can also harvest these which are sort of some nice meatballs. Uh, so yeah, things are actually going pretty damn well for us right now. Uh, I'm very, very happy uh, at all this. Um, let's quickly sort of throw this grass tuft on here. But I'm afraid we have run out of time for this episode. So this was number three, ladies and gentlemen, or just folks, um, of our Let's Play Don't Starve series. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now all... Um, all I guess there is now left to say is that I hope you're having a great week wherever you are in the world. I hope to see you next time in our future episodes of Don't Starve and of course our other series. I will see you then and bye bye.